McGovern Institute is a brain research institute with a dual mission. Understand the brain and then apply that knowledge to help people suffering from many forms of brain disorders. Conditions ranging from dyslexia and autism in children to Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, macular degeneration in the elderly, as well as depression and schizophrenia. The statistics say that one in four families are going to be affected by a brain disorder of some form. These are very severe and painful disorders. They're painful for the people who suffer them and they're painful for the families, the relatives, the friends. We've got to do something. The McGovern Institute has been and always will be a tremendously strong basic research enterprise. We're all united around a common theme of understanding the brain essentially all the way from molecules up to cognition. We currently have 16 distinguished faculty members, including one Nobel laureate and five members of the National Academy of Sciences. We attract people who want to be part of this team, who want to work on big problems that can't be solved by one person working in their lab. I think the McGovern Institute is one of the most collaborative environments that I have ever worked in. One of the great advantages of being here at the McGovern Institute is that the whole philosophy is risk-taking. This is encouraged by the McGoverns themselves. We have created and imbued a sense of entrepreneurial research. We can start research for which no other source of funding is available. I can't think of anything else comparable in the world that would allow radically new ideas from left field to get out there and in one short year have huge impact on the world. We can do absolutely anything here. Any kind of expertise we need is right here in this building, right around us. I think in my lifetime I'm going to see serious improvements in our treatments of people with brain disorders. I believe we give people hope. And when there's hope and not defeat or despair on people's mind, progress will prevail and solutions will be found and neurodegenerative diseases will be cured. I just know that.